Are you ready? to uh, get along with the show. I'm going to introduce the first act on stage. He's a firm favorite that's opened up every Rahman and Friends show far. And I've got no idea why he likes being the first act, but he just loves this first spot. I know that you are all, most of you are in love with this guy from Jeddah. Uh, I can see some of you smiling already. You know who it is, don't you? Huh? You know who it is? You can smell him already, huh? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, a very, very close friend of mine from Jeddah, a KFUPM graduate. Please welcome on the stage, Mr. Omar Hussein. All right, thank you, thank you. All right, I want to make sure that everyone is all right. Are you guys all okay? Because you really need to care of, take care of the masses nowadays. Are you guys, do you want any of the comedians to step down or anything? Is, is Rahman okay? Is he, is he good? Is he okay? All right, good, okay. Mumtaz, Mumtaz. We don't want to do, do anything dramatic like, you know, get on Twitter or Facebook or something. It's, you know, we don't want any, anyone from the outside, you know, interfering with our business like Chevron or Shell or something. It's just crazy. Uh, so my name is Omar. I'm, I'm the youngest of uh, three brothers. That means that everything I have is really old <laughs> and really used. I have toy soldiers that don't want to fight anymore. <laughs> I, I had a Lego building. I wanted to play with it. It was subcontracted to Saudi OJ. <laughs> it's still not finished. I, I, I had a, a Winnie the Pooh teddy bear. When I press his belly, he goes, <laughs> No more honey. Insulin now. My, my parents try to optimize things. She tried to, uh, my mom tried to teach me how to brush my teeth and pee at the same time. She never expected this. Mom, my tie is me. I, I, I remember the, uh, the first time I fell in love. I uh, still remember her name. It was uh, Bint Kashfa <laughs> I'd follow her everywhere. We'd go everywhere together. And she had the cutest nickname for me. It was Wakhir Anni Khidami. Allah Yagrifak Wakhir Anni. Hello, Allah. I'm um, so so. A couple of days ago was the uh, International Women's Day. Yeah, yeah, it's amazing. So it was. Yeah, it's it's great. It's amazing. And I thought it is about time that that we treat women as as equals and without prejudice of all kinds. And I thought I would start with today. Today, every woman I meet, I would treat her as an equal. You know, Ahlen, how are you, Sarah? It's, it's a pleasure to meet you. It's good to meet you. <laughs> it's, I'll start today. I'll let you know if you other guys can do it tomorrow, okay? <laughs> Um, so, so in Jeddah, they started this thing. Now we have um, uh, female cashiers working in, in uh, supermarkets and stuff, which is pretty cool. Except that you really don't want to be behind that um, funny guy. You know, the guy who tries to be funny with the girls? You know, I hate, I hate people who try to be funny. I can't stand them. Because you'll be waiting behind him in line and, and uh, the lady would check in all his stuff and then like your change is 50 riyals and 50 halalas. Would you like the 50 halalas or a polo? He goes, polo la cost. 
funny ass. And you know how it's awkward um, when you know ladies find it awkward when they buy underwear from men. It's kind of it's kind of weird. And I now understand because I went to this hypermarket and it had the female cashier and I and I bought a couple of stuff and you know a pair of boxers and I was checking my stuff in and she goes you know the boxers are yours and I'm like yeah she says but they're they're si they're a size small. <laughs> it's the waist, dummy waist. Hugla. You've been the same, same situation, huh? <laughs> but seriously, it is... Oh, never mind, never mind. <laughs> so, um, um, I think it's about, you know, um, re I want to share that uh, recently I, uh, I got engaged. <laughs> I don't know what you're clapping about. Worst experience ever. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> don't want to be there. Uh, because women are normal people until the ring gets on the finger. That's when they go cuckoo. They go crazy. I mean, lady starts calling me at weird times of the night. She calls me at 3 a.m. like, hey, Kefak, how are you? I'm, I'm asleep. It's 3 a.m. Okay, okay, I'll let you sleep. Bye. She hangs up. She calls me back again. Hi, how are you? Did you, did you sleep well? I'm, it's 3.05. <laughs> okay, okay, you sleep, you sleep. <laughs> Who came up with the idea that baby talk is cute? <laughs> it's time, let's make an announcement. Seriously, that men are not turned on by babies. You want to turn me on? Cut your spendings by half. <laughs> and I don't know what's the big deal behind, um, behind being engaged because it's a really bad experience because you're with your you know, fiance and there's this little, the, her little brother. He's always around. He's, al like, he's always there. He's all over the place. And because you have to hold his hand, he holds her hand. It's a lot of connection thing. You kiss him, he kisses her, she kisses him, he kisses you back. You know, I try to adapt a little bit, but it got difficult and complicated when I want to get to second base. It keeps giggling. Oh, you laughing, aren't you? Come on, my God. That's nice. So, I mean, in, for some reason, getting engaged in, in our culture, for some reason, it's like you're, you're being really, they, they make you really, um, you're like a really thirsty person. And, and there's this drink, which you can't have. But you're committed to the drink. And you're like, can I have the drink? It's like, yeah, yeah, sure, but you need to get some money. Like, okay, you go and work, and work, and work, and you come back. Can I have the drink? No, no, inshallah soon, inshallah soon. Can I have a sip? No. No sips. You can take a photo if you want. Look at it before you sleep. <laughs> and all your friends are out there with their Coca-Colas and Red Bulls, Sobia Bizdabib, and all that stuff. And here you are waiting on Zamzam Cola. Is it good? I don't know. I enjoy after the show, usually you meet people and stuff, and, and, and I, I like how people come up to you like, oh my, you're a funny guy, you should you know, meet my son, you should meet my daughter. I'm like, yeah, thank you. And except that those, those awkward people who come up to you like, Omar, you're funny. I don't want to see you around my family. <laughs> I see you in my neighborhood. I drive over you. <laughs> Twice. <laughs> thank you, that's my time, thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Omar Hussein. That was a good act. Well done, man. Well done. You like this crowd? Good crowd today? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Take a seat. Take a seat, man. Take the weight off your feet. Um, one thing. No, take the red seat. I, I want that seat, man. 
ones. <laughs> I like the black ones. Um, I, I, I want to do something different with this show, guys. Usually in a comedy show, what happens is the guy comes on, does his 10, 12 minutes, and you never see him again until the next comedy show. So this time I thought I'd get to know the man behind the comedy. How about that? Would you like to know a little bit more about this young gentleman? Okay, okay. I think I heard a few more female voices than male in that day, which is a bit worrying. I, uh, are you married, Omar? Uh, no, you know, no. That, that, that uh, engagement didn't work out. She okay. calls too much. <laughs> okay, any children? No, just... <laughs> One of these days I'm gonna catch someone out. Married? No. Children? Yes, <laughs> three. <laughs> you're cool, you're cool, you're cool. Uh, you've, uh, uh, since uh, coming on to Rahman and Friends uh, in the first, what, two, two years ago, two years you've ago, yeah, uh, yeah. come a long way. You've got your own show on YouTube now, apparently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you guys watch uh, Atai. Yeah, okay. Amazing, amazing stuff. I, I heard it gets a few hits. Huh? How, many, how many hits are you getting per episode at the moment? Um, we're, we're averaging on uh, 300,000 clicks. 300,000 per episode. Yeah. Per yeah. episode. Wow. That's thank, amazing. thank you, guys. Thank you very amazing. much. That's thank amazing. You. Okay, that's cool. And uh, you're not publicity shy. Uh, <laughs> I, I, if you opened up, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I've got a copy of um, yesterday's Arab News. You want to open that up? Yeah, sure, nine, sure, sure. If you caught yesterday's Arab News on uh, page nine, there's a teeny weeny photo, just a very small one. I don't know if you'll be able to see it from there. Uh, of Omar, do you want to just uh, show the people? Can you find page nine? It's just after page eight. <laughs> there you go, just before 10. Ah, you go. Just a small photo of Omar in yesterday's Arab news. Just hold it up. Just hold that up. There you go. Isn't that cool? Mubar, mabruk, mabruk. This is, uh, this is actually a, uh, it's a photo from the first uh, yeah. act we did in, uh, that's a, in Bahrain. That's a photo from the very first Rahman and Friends, and he's yeah. still using it. He looks so cool in that. Yeah. <laughs> you just, I uh, wanted to note out that um, none of the clothes are mine. <laughs> <laughs> it was actually my, my cousins and my friends, and it was cool and I got playing. Well, listen, uh, um, Omar, I want to congratulate you uh, on the success. I'm sure that you weren't expecting all this when you came into the wonderful world of comedy, but I really want to congratulate you. One hell of a nice guy, and it's a great pleasure to call you my friend. Thank, thank, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you.